The Boy Who Cried Ninja by Alex Latimer. Once there was a boy named Tim, who no one believed. When his mom asked him what happened to the last slice of cake, he told her the truth. It was a ninja, cried Tim. First, the ninja crept into the house. Then he kicked it into the air and ate it in one bite. When his dad asked him where the hammer was, he told him the truth. An astronaut landed in the yard and needed it to fix his spaceship. He's got your hammer. And when Grandpa asked him if he'd done his homework, Tim told him the truth. A giant squid ate my whole book bag while I was off buying an ice cream. Tim's parents were very upset with him for telling lies. So they told him to go and rake up leaves in the yard and think about what he'd done. But the more he thought about it, the more he thought that maybe he really should lie. Then no one would be mad at him. So the next time a pirate jumped out of the cupboard and drank all the tea straight from the pot, he owned up. And the next time a sunburned crocodile landed on the roof and accidentally broke the TV antenna, he confessed. And the next time a time-traveling monkey appeared on top of the TV and started throwing pencils at Grandpa while he was sleeping, Tim said it was all his fault. But none of that helped. Tim's parents told him to go and water the vegetable garden and think about all the bad things he'd done. If he told the truth, he was in trouble. And if he lied, he was in trouble. What? could he do? Then he had an idea. He found some paper and some stamps and he wrote six letters. Dear you, there is a party at my house tomorrow. There will be plenty of cake, hammers, my new book bag, buckets of tea, TV antennas, and pencils. Please come, me. The next day was a Saturday. Dad was fixing the house. Grandpa was reading the newspaper and mom was vacuuming. Then the doorbell rang. Bing bong. Who could it be? Asked grandpa. I'll get it, said Tim. There at the door stood a line of strange creatures. First a ninja, then an astronaut, a giant squid, a pirate, a crocodile, recently recovered from sunburn, and a time traveling monkey. Tim's parents could see that he'd been trying to tell the truth from the beginning. They said sorry and promised to buy him a hundred ice creams. As for the rest of them, Tim's parents were very upset. Go and rake all the leaves in the yard and think about what you've done, said his dad. When they had cleaned the whole yard, there really was a party and no one ate all the cake no one took anything without asking. No one swallowed a book bag. No one drank all the tea. No one broke the antenna and no one threw pencils. It was the best party Tim had ever had. The end.